Stage number 14, the last one, the stage that finally brought us from Sobrado dos Monches to Santiago de Compostela. In an incredible mood to arrive as soon as possible to Santiago and finally be able to rest, we had a fairly fast stage until we reached the periphery of Santiago, which was full of traffic and it wasn't exactly as nice as we thought. Having said that, as you can obviously expect, Santiago de Compostela is an absolutely wonderful city. I would recommend three, four days, something like that. Do not make the mistake of leaving the following day or even the same day as you would miss on something very nice. You will miss on the specific point of getting actually there in the first place. But there is so much to see and uh, you really want to take it easy after riding for such a long time. We were absolutely happy to arrive after a tour that had over 800 kilometers and a total accumulated elevation of 10,800 meters or something like that. The stage itself was not difficult, less than 55 kilometers, just 600 meters elevation. We rode the first part absolutely fast, as I said, we were in a hurry to arrive. However, the second part, as you get closer to the city, there's a lot of traffic, the landscape is not exactly as uh, nice as you would imagine, there is some kind of factories and like constructions and such. Before we approached the city, we also had a couple of unpaved sectors, the last gravel experience of the entire trip. In terms of weather, the weather was not as bad as the day before, however, it was quite cold, 14 Celsius. That may seem a lot, keep in mind that when we started our trip, it was uh, at least 10 degrees more, so it's kind of a, quite a drop that we had. Our last stage, unpaved stage, but very fast considering we have been riding non-stop back to back 750 kilometers over 10,000 meters elevation for two weeks now and uh, carrying I don't know I probably carry 12 kilos bags on this oversized bike I'm riding we have roughly 30 kilometers left till we finish our Tour. Looks like there is a uphill part there. No, there is some mud at the wow, okay. I made it through. In the second off-road section, crossing a forest, I had a small mechanical, a problem with the chain and a piece of the pannier that uh, fell off. I can't complain because it was the first mechanical problem I had in the entire trip. So yes, fantastic experience from a you know physical but also spiritual level. Obviously, the uh, northern route, the Camino del Norte, is somehow technically demanding. I would recommend some level of physical preparation and training before you go, if you go with a, a regular bike, so not an electric bike. Enjoy every kilometer, every day, every stage, enjoy every destination along your route and make sure that you spend some time in Santiago once you get there because it's a small uh, gem that deserves some time. So here it is, we are at the end of this small collection, my blog diary of my Camino del Norte by bike. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button and uh, enjoy any future adventure as I do on the road. Thanks and see you on the road or on the trail.